Hey guys, so I, uh, my name is Sound of a Gap and this is The Walking Dead, Season 1. And we're back with the main game itself. Without further ado, let's just get right into Episode 2. I hope you all remember what happened in Episode 1, where it all just began. And now we're here, starved for help. Let's see what kind of decisions we have to make today. I think we will see a little preview first. Previously on the yeah, Dead. here we go. I know who you are. Oh, I got another road. good one for you. <laughs> You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. <laughs> Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> give a shit about what happens to you but if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you <laughs> you watch your ass all right we at the motel where we kind of saved the girl but she killed herself afterwards and this game series adapts to the choices you make the story is tailored by how you play here we go finally i got it correct again <laughs> Three months later. Okay, they have been here for three months. That's actually not bad. Damn. What they get this? Okay, he's new. Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. <laughs> Trust me, I have no regrets. Well, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. <laughs> We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Hmm. You'll have to ask Lily. She's the one handling the rations. Or mishandling it, if you ask Kenny. He's just worried about his kid getting enough. I worry about Clementine, too. Do I have one of my... Think Kenny's having any more luck than we are? Power bars, still. I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor end. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Hmm. Maybe he'll be better off without us. And we'll have three fewer mouths to feed. And one fewer gun hand. One way or the other, it's a bad situation. <laughs> Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Larry's a dick. That's that's just it. Old racist asshole, yeah. Definitely. He's just an old racist asshole. That's his deal. Well, he needs to get over that and start finding a way to pull mm -hmm. his weight. 
Our problems are not. We should all be out here trying to find fruit. That's correct. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. <laughs> and didn't he punch you in the face one time? He did. Uh, knock me flat. I did not forget that. Well, I shoot the bird. The raven. It's a long shot. I'd hate to waste the bullets. Trust me. If I don't think I can hit it, I won't shoot. All right. Yeah, right. Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. It doesn't sound like Kenny. No, that's not Kenny. This is somebody else. Oh, right. Those guys. Ah, oh, it's a bear trap. Jesus Christ. Oh, shit. No, no. Please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off. Get it off. God damn it. Get, get it Come off. Come on, let's have Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? Who raided the camp? I, I don't know. Guys with guns. Please, we won't bother you, I swear. Lee, this is fucked up. We gotta yeah. go. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Just see if Just because your dad out. was After that, you special can leave forces? Us for whatever. I don't care. Please. Doesn't mean that you know what's going on. We gotta get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. <laughs> hurry, please, hurry. <laughs> Lee, this trap's been altered. There's no release. Shit. Left. I have to cut his leg. Oh no. Ah, uh, fuck. Shit. Walkers. It's now or never mm -hmm. leave. Please. Get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. It's the only chance. Lee, do something. No, no, no. Try the trap again. Anything. It's not working. It's not working. We have to. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. At least you're alive now. Let's go, let's oh, this looks so bad. Finish it. it has to be now. What the hell do you think I'm doing? Yeah, he passed out, definitely. He passed out. And he's losing a lot of blood. If he's alive, grab him and let's go. Behind you! Travis! Come he's on, dead. come on, we gotta move! Why wouldn't he run? Idiot. Walking Dead. Yeah, this is so idiotic. You see them coming after you. Just run. Turn around and run. You are much faster than them. This is not... What's the other game called? Dying Light? With the Paku and so? Episode 2. Starved for Help. Clem changed. She has other clothes. I don't like her. And they dislike her father as well. Actually, I hate him. He's an ass.
Clem. Come on. Stop it. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! My God. What happened? Oh, what the hell? What's going on? I don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? What? No, you I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Yeah. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. <laughs> Wait, what? No, I... Clem is so... Come on, okay? You know, you like to think so you're the cute. leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. He's not wrong. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. I don't like him, but he's not wrong. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part yeah, of that. Yeah, me neither. I'm just going to leave. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around. But now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. <laughs> it doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens no, next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later you're gonna have to decide whose side you're I think on. We all, I thought we were all on the same side. We tried to survive together. I don't together. see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad. Then maybe he, she's got yours. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? <laughs> you think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food, but nobody else wants no, to. No, they hate you because you don't want to help other people. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Wait, that, that little for a whole day? Four food items? I could eat those on my own and I wouldn't be... And I would still be hungry when I'm starving. Well, I will give it to my favorites, of course. Okay, actually she is pretty helpful because she is a veterinarian. Um... We have Clem. Clem will get at least one stuff. Uh, Carly also, so her and her. This makes three. This boy is annoying as hell. I don't know him. Larry, the damn racist, I don't want to give him anything. And his daughter, I don't either, so... Hmm. Is there somebody else? How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I well, that's not. If I find it, I'll let not you know. That helpful. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. All right. Um. I just want to walk around and see Kenny. No, I don't. I'm not gonna give Kenny something to eat. I hate Kenny. Okay, let's start with the veterinarian. Katya. 
Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand? Sora. Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. All right. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Blaine, this man has no legs. Well. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, he still has half a life. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Let me give you some, something to eat. Come on. Uh, can't I give you something to eat now? What the hell? Um, interesting. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Uh, jerky, apple, crackers, and cheese. You need protein, baby. Okay, a Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Okay, now I now yeah, I have. Yeah, why don't we get some food? I have to give him some now. Hey, Duck, how about a little food? Um. Wait, 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 wait! I only have three items. I thought I have four. So crackers and cheese belong together. Okay, I give him half an apple and crackers and cheese is for Carly. Here. Oh heck yes! Is there peanut butter? What do you think? Mm -hmm. What do you think, no, Duck? Probably not. <laughs> All right. Um, Carly. Want something to eat? Uh, I have two mm -hmm. pieces of crackers. How and about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. Can I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. Oh, she's so nice. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. Okay. Can I... S Let's talk. Um... Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food. Even though the guy can be a He's not getting anything. Guy. He's the fattest of all. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you, if he decides to take off in that RV one day. Hmm. What about you? You need food, too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carly. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Hmm. Back in a bit. Taunts, yeah. Okay, she is still sitting up there. I think I will give Kenny the last piece. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know. But Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. <laughs> I had to. There was no other way. No, I don't give him food. Um. So who are you people? Our group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when, when everything happened. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, uh, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of, I don't know, something. You'll be prepared next time. Next time? Yeah. No. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. There's still the guy um, with the glasses. I think I will give him the other piece of... Well, I have two left. Hmm. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. I'm not sure that's the best idea. You gave Glenn your blessing when he left. Just asking you respect my choice as well. Yeah, but he was leaving to find his friends. Your family's right here. Well, here isn't doing us any good. You should think about coming with us, you and Clem. Hmm. Uh, 
coast. Really? Could be a good idea. There's water. They can't Coast swim. Sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. Yeah. I will keep one food for myself. I will give the other to uh, the guy at the fence. Mm. We should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? The arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. We are here for three, three months, girl. Three months. I'm pretty sure you've scavenged everything around. In a pretty big radius. Maybe we should think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. We're protected, we're close to the drugstore, we have a routine now and it's working. And we have no food. For now. So no, it's not Keep working. An eye out. Fine. Let's get over to the others. Oh, and, and I still have to find her hat somehow. Soccer ball. Fence. Um. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak. Yeah, he needs food. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a oh, pansy. Such an ass. Here, eat something. Thanks, Lee. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. I'll give it to Mark, not to you, Larry. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me You're the just axe? complaining all the time, so Come shut up. Come on, Larry. Give it a rest, man. Things are different. Being a racist is outdated. Yep. Oh. And that's what you think this mm -hmm. is? Is that what you told him? There, that's right. And what are you gonna do about it? I'm gonna Look, kill you someday. I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. <sighs> the only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. You started bickering. <laughs> Can I keep the last food for myself? One piece of food left. For myself. I need to keep my strength yep. up too. The protagonist has to be healthy and fat. Not such an easy job, is it? Never said it was. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice. But you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still... I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to me? You're the fattest friend? of the whole community. There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, mm -hmm. old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. <laughs> you are not either. Once again, you're just arguing. <laughs> Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much oh, blood. Oh shit! God damn it! I'm getting sick of this shit. Yeah, I feel you. Ken, come back. There's nothing. Let him go, Katja. But he just needs yep. time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought. I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What? Well, he is. What about the other He can still kid? turn, and he will.
Whoa! Where is he coming? But ah, oh, is this guy? Okay. What the? Great. Great job. Come on. Get away from him. That really surprised me. You okay? Yeah. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place? He asshole? was alive, Calm dickhead. Down. Get us all killed. Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? <laughs> what? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word. But he wasn't. He wasn't. Bitten, he I wasn't. swear. He just when died. Not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife. What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. Well, the bite too. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. God help us. It makes sense. In those first few days, it spread so fast. Mm -hmm. Car accidents, suicides, everything was making more of them. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning, and... God. Back off! What the? Whoa, lady, relax. Uh, me and my brother, we, we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Carly. Are you armed? Yeah, for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be oh, I remember this one. Guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place yeah. out? See if it's yeah, legit. It's a good idea. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what do y'all think? Mm, yep. You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. What is a gallon? About four liter? So, this dairy, do you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Sounds nice. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. <laughs> Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Really? You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone. Not everyone no. thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Yep. Does anyone uh, because care? of color. Larry knows. Yep, he does. Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? Hmm. You know what happened. I only know what the press was told. I don't know your story. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. Nice I mean, said. Thank God Lee showed up when he did. <clears throat> right, Lee? 
Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? Mm. Let's stay Boy, hidden. It's my home now, I guess. Hmm. Well, that place seen better days, huh? You can say that again. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor in. Uh, who's running things over there? I'm gonna say democracy. We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just that's what I'm thinking. How many people you got over there anyway? Uh. Um. Change the subject. Well, the kid here is our newest arrival, but we're all looking forward to some food. We really need it. Well, here's to helping each other out. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra help. Why did the new guy come in the summers, with? summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's. You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? What the hell? Shoot me down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Fuck you! You knew we were hungry, and you guys were keeping it up. There's only two of them. Oh no, there's yeah, a lot you know what? more. We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. One is killing the other. Fuck you! Yo. Here it is, St. John Family Dairy. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. Yeah, you can hear the, the electricity. The keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha, they fry like bugs in a zap. Really? We're pushing 4,000 volts through oh, this so thing with generators and amps. That's a lot. I'm going to assume that's a lot. It is. It's definitely a lot. Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's been living down at the old motel, round the way. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Mm. Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this oh, morning. This is cool. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's mm -hmm. for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybell will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she? We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered. Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Mark. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big Oh no. You home I remember this. Mm. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Uh why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. I think I know what's gonna happen. I remember a little bit. 
Mars, Lee, uh, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. And you can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Mm. Actually, it doesn't matter what I take here. To help out, my place is safe. Uh, let's take place safe. Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling yep. us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. Alright, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from mm -hmm. it. Alright, and I will try to... I'll try to avoid a thing what I'm thinking of. <laughs> What's gonna happen? Um, oh. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some mm -hmm. rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. I forgot to look at uh, to look for the hat at the motor in. Shit, should have done this before. Gate, no. We're just going to look around first. I don't need to talk to him yet. I can use this gate. Andy. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back in the motel that you folks are pretty well armed been stockpiling, huh? Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully it'll never come to that. Let's just be fight. nice. That's, I think, a good idea. Uh, we can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on. Looking for the people they lost contact with. That's a lie, by the way. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generator. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. <laughs> Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can but they all work together to do the trick like us I'm gonna get to know the place for a minute okay well we gotta secure the perimeter so don't take mm -hmm. too I'll be back in a sec hey uh, what are you fixing to do around the barn just want to take a look around how secure is your barn having a safe place for the cows pretty important Thanks to the fence, nothing gets in here anymore. Unfortunately, the daddies took most of our cattle before we got it running. Mind if I take a look? Sure, but uh, why don't we do that after we tend to the perimeter? Okay. Sounds good. And just let's just walk around a little bit. Maybe you can find some. Ah, that's what I'm looking for. This is too big right now, but if I can find something to cut it down to size, it's left to you. Make a good seat for the swing. There it is. Hmm. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. Okay, now I need to find...
find some rope. It's a fence. I don't want to go near this one. Um, there could be a rope inside, maybe. Shoe bucket. Uh huh. There's rope. Very nice. This rope is perfect for the swing. I've never seen those. This dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? This place was my daddy's life. Are you following Made everything me? to him. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. He said they had to have room for as many babies as they could <laughs> have. <laughs> Mama, she was done after Dan. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left for Daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. Yep, yeah, move along. Stop following me. Uh, front door, plants, well, hi there, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. Um. How many rooms does this house have? Rooms? Why do you ask? It looks custom built. Nice of you to notice. My husband put a lot of work into this old house. Well, he did a fantastic job. I believe in making a house a home. When will dinner be ready? It'll be a while still, but it'll be worth it. Trust me. How's your family been holding up since, uh, you know? All my boys have been my saving grace. They both left their jobs and came home to help out after the attack started happening. I think it was hardest on Andy. Dan was always more of a mama's boy. But don't <laughs> tell him I said that. <laughs> Well, if anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. Yeah, let's just keep going. So, back down, repairing the swing, and then we will fix the perimeter. All right, this shouldn't be too tough. I'll be damned. Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully our kids will like it too. Did you say something, darling? Oh my goodness. Did you do that? Just trying to help out a bit around here. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. Seems like such a long time ago now. Yeah, it does. Okay, good job. Mm, nah, let's fix the perimeter and continue. Hi. <coughs> Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Okay. Let's do this. But why is there is this fence so wide? The house is over there. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? 
It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. What yep. the hell did you have to tell him I thought he was a racist? As if tensions weren't high enough. Sorry, man. It just it popped out. I mean, you did admit it right to his <laughs> face. Of course. That guy's a piece of shit anyway. Relax. You're not making things any better riling him up. There's one. Uh, I will take the arrow. Just for safety. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Take the arrow. Don't hesitate. Disgusting. Oh, okay, there's a light. It's out. Nice. Uh, I didn't know that he has his axe with him. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? It's dangerous. True, but it's also dangerous to the walkers. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. Mm. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. Good to know. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. I think this one is still alive. Is it? Okay, not a knife, but, uh... Yeah. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> at s at nope. some point, you will. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. We'll go ask for more to eat after this is done. All right, I can suck it. <laughs> Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Whoa! Uh, what the fuck? What the? Get to the gate! Get down! You asshole! Jesus! We had an agreement! Now you're fucked! Who the fuck is that? No idea! Fuck! Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out! Mm -hmm. Let's push it. Give me some food. Come on, help me. Oh, we have to lose this one. Whoa. I still can't move it? What the hell? Okay. Get back. That's strong. Ah, I need to put in the gear, I think. No fuel. Of course. I didn't meet. Ah, okay. You asshole! Come on. If we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! They're on the Shit, that hurts. How many arrows are they shooting? Great, that's a walk on the way. We had an agreement. Now you're what happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move it. Did you really think you can fuck with us? I got you now. <laughs> Where do you guys go? <laughs> you fuck with us. Now we'll take what we want. 
There's another walker. Another one? How many of those things did we push down? Actually, just two. Well, we pushed one and chopped the arms of the other. And this one is probably alive. Yeah, I knew it. Come on. Oh, that's better. You okay? Yeah. Barely. Come on. The gate's right there. Did you really think you'd fuck with us? Ain't got crazy? Okay, we can run. <laughs> nice hit. Let's get out of here. We have to. Um. You lucky sons of bitches. Go ahead and run. We ain't going nowhere. Why didn't they come closer? They could have killed us. Pretty easily. So, now we have to talk, guys. What's going on here? Lee, what's wrong? There was a goddamn ambush out there. Holy shit, are, are you okay? The bandits here? On our property? Oh my lord, what happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out. God damn it. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Mark, oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey, come on, Brenda's got you. Come oh on yeah. Inside now. yeah. We'll have you all sorted mm. out. Well, you must be the best What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked mm -hmm. us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. So much for your deal. Those shitheads broke the agreement. Look, I'm sorry, Lee. If I had any inkling they were going to give you guys trouble, well, we would have gone out there with you. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Well, the bandits are just... Bandits? Are you serious? One problem. This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out. I don't wanna eat you. With these bandits. You guys to try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. <laughs> yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, kids, look what Lee got working for you. A swing. I love swings, just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Thanks, Lee. You're the best. Yeah. Everything for you, honey. Okay, I want to see what's in the barn. Let's go over there. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in ships. Open it. If there's not oh, come on. Really? Us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in ships. Just hay. Lots of hay. Okay. Good. Enough of these might work as adequate cover for arrows, if that becomes a problem. Well, that's just not enough for that. Okay, I can't go inside. That's too bad.
Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Which is not around anymore. Probably. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? No, he won't. Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Mm. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? It looked safe. Um. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I'm not talking to you. I was talking to her. Know. If we just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything, but gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Hey, thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? Huh? Kenny believes there's still hope. Maybe that's what we need right now. Well, hope doesn't do any good if we're all dead. I'm focused on keeping us alive. And not giving my dad food. That was He crazy. is fat! He doesn't need food. Not yet, anyways. No. Wanna get out of here. Okay, um That thing keeps a fence electrified. You don't say Let's go to the kids. And then we go up to those guys. Hey Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Thanks for fixing it. You're welcome. Will you push me on it? Sure. Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? Been lucky out there. Could have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Well, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky too. <laughs> Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. <laughs> what do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? Not sure, Clem. I hope so. I hope so too. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. All right, Clem. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck. Don't pop a gasket. Okay. Uh, let's get up to those guys. How you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. <laughs> you saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Big box? Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So, are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Yeah, it'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. That's true. Are you going now? Yeah, 
I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. <sighs> Such a good kid. See anything? Not yet. I see leaves and trees and other stuff. I know it's around here. It's got to be close. Here. Oh shit, you found it? Looks abandoned. You see anybody? Stay on your guard. Better safe than than sorry. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. Ah, oh, that's that. Clear. This camp's too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Okay, I want to stop at the tent. Because I'm pretty sure that her had us there. Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid sized. Kid sized? Wait, I can't take a look around in there? Okay. Empty. Nothing. Okay. No. Still warm. Just water. Okay. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these recently. Nothing but fumes. Shit. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Not unless you need a bunch of empty cans. <laughs> I'll pass. Wait. Shopping cart. Hmm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. Can I take a look inside, please? Go move along. Tent looks pretty. Oh, come new. on. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid sized. Okay, I can't do anything here. Looks like they expected to be here a while. Okay, I'm missing something. I'm missing something. Yuck. I don't need that. Can't go there. Can't go there. We looked at this beforehand. Let's try again. Oh. There's milk. From the dairy farm. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. A walkie talkie. 
Not a camera. What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead. Though. Ah, damn it. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. Now let's take a look inside. There it is. That's what I'm looking for. The hell? Don't you fucking move. The fuck? Shit. Put your guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Huh? Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We had a deal. You people broke it first. Why are you alone up here? What happened to you? Well, that's a hell of a question, mister. They told me I'd be safe with them. Men who lived here. But it weren't safe. Not for me. And not for my girl. They didn't treat her nice. Not at all. They took her away into the woods wouldn't tell me where and I begged them every way I could think they just laughed <laughs> so I killed them and I'm staying here till she comes back to me one way or another she'll come back now maybe you didn't hear me last time when I asked you sweet put your damn guns down you think I won't kill you I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice sharp arrow right through your eyeball and into your goddamn brain you're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from what? me. What? Clem? Huh? What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. <laughs> yeah. Right through. String him up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Put down the crossbow. No, sir, I need it. I need it to kill you fuckers. <laughs> I don't wanna shoot you. Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind. For yeah, she was about to reveal their secret. Which we will see later on. God damn it! You straight up murdered that woman. Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my foot. No, at mine actually, but um okay. <sighs> it's a clean shot though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. I would take the crossbow. Come on. Why was she thinking that Clementine belongs to her? She's not her mom. Or maybe she just wanted a surrogate, in a way. Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. I'm not even You're sure right. she belongs to them. What happened? Handled it, Mama. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? 
My husband. Missing every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. What is he talking about? What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling, looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? They have different ideas about how we should run our group. If they don't find any common ground, this whole thing's gonna fall apart. No, it's just tough times. Everyone's hungry and people get a little stir-crazy when their tummy's empty. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. We are not safe don't here. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. Mm -hmm. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lot. Okay, now we can go to the barn, hopefully. Clementine, I got your hat, baby. <laughs> Alright, let's go there. Um, we're gonna talk to Lily. First. Just to see what she and Kenny were arguing about again. And Clementine does have the walkie-talkie still. Maybe you can take the batteries and use it for the camera. Hey, so what happened at the camp? Did you guys find any more of those guys that hurt Mark? We found a tin and some boxes. Nothing really useful. Seriously? No food? Mm, Jesus. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. They are. But you told him to mind his own goddamn business, right? We are guests here and we don't need to be overstaying our welcome more than we already are. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. Orenji, hi, nice to see ya. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. So, he's the asshole. Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes. No, uh, sometimes, all the time. He's not a bad guy. He just, he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much and lost pretty much everything and it's hardened him you know yeah he's bitter and hateful but that's all just to protect himself and me all he's got left in the world is me and that goes both ways so yeah he's probably gonna keep treating me like crap but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about so don't judge him and don't judge me for sticking by him he's my dad and I love hmm. him um I'm doing fine thank you uh um, not playing 3 and 3 today? Uh, I am, but in the evening. The first two streams are still my Telltale tribute. Did you get the feeling something's going on here? What makes you say that? What exactly happened at the camp? Uh, it's nothing. Uh, don't worry about it. Paranoia just getting to me a little bit. I know what you mean. These backwoods people always give me the creeps. If you ask me, we should just get our dinner and leave. Come on now. We don't want to be rude. I'm going to go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. I know what I'm doing. Um, Chummy, hi, nice to see you. Uh, haven't played this game in years. Yeah, me too. That's why I'm playing it. Just because it's a tribute for Telltale Games um, after they broke down. So... I've played all the other Telltale games I own um, up until now, and at the end I'm playing all the Walking Dead seasons as well. So season one now, and season two and three in the future, in the next few days, and hopefully season four will be available for purchase sometime soon. 
Okay, we want to go inside there, but I think Kenny is... No, he's not here. Okay. Let's get inside. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Clementine is still Whoa. the best. Katya says Mabel could have a baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Okay. Just a sec, guys. Um, ONG. Problem with Telltale was the fact that games were too similar. Um, this is actually what I love about Telltale games. That the games are that similar. That you have um, this narrative and the story and you have choices to make. And depending on which choices you do make, um, the story continues on a different path. So that's what I love about Telltale. That's what I, what I always loved about Telltale. And, um, and I... I what I really think what was great about the whole um, Telltale games um, that they even chose to do Tales from the Borderlands and Guys of the Galaxy and so on so to, to just diverse it a little bit more not only just Walking Dead and that's pretty great and uh, this is what I'm gonna miss pretty much and I'm really happy that Skybound just is going to do the last two um, episodes of the last season of Walking Dead so that we can finish this game properly. Because it is, it is the main game. Did you lick it? <laughs> she did. <laughs> yeah, she did. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> okay. Um, this is where we want to go later on. Let me just take a look around. Okay. But I think we can't go there now, just because Andy is still here. I want to play in the hay. You want to play in the hay? Just stay close to your mom. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, this... He is really juvenile, this, um, duck. What's in there? Empty. Empty, okay. So let's see what happens when I try to open this door. It's locked, okay. You found it too, huh? Mm hmm. Lee, they're hiding something. I know what they're hiding. hiding this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Hmm. Okay, we need a screwdriver. Hey, Lee. You know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say Just that? because he's black? <laughs> well, you're... You know, herb. <laughs> oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Yeah. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking. Tommy, I feel the. We can I just feel the same the way. Assembly, Definitely. Inside and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. 
I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Yeah, I need a screwdriver. Do you have one? Kenny thought he heard a noise. He's a little jumpy, huh? Well, we're all sure glad his wife is here. She's a lifesaver. You, you got no idea. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Yeah, there, there was even... Um, the thing is that they, they were trying to make um, a new Wolf Among Us game, um, Stranger Things, I think, too. And those are not being done now. This is just really sad. Here, Clementine. And I was hoping for another Game of Thrones episode. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it! You said you would! Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? Oof. I don't know. I haven't thought about having kids in a long time. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. Where do I find a screwdriver? Duck, Andy, cow, clam. Hmm. Don't have a screwdriver. Let's see if I can find one. Try to remember where it was. So, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Are you oh, kidding? I just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. He's flirting I with her. Where can I find a screwdriver? Definitely not there. Not over there. Hmm. Ah, the toolbox over there. Okay, it's not a screwdriver, but it will do. I'm just gonna borrow this for a second. Let's get back inside. Hey guys, seriously, don't fuck around with that. Come on, enough already. Shit. Kenny, what the hell? Thought you're backing me up. I picked up something I think could help with the lock. Alright, good to hear. Oh, come on. <laughs> could help with the lock. Alright, good to hear. Any thoughts on how to distract Andy? I don't know, man. Just look for something outside of the barn. We need him Ah, okay, I know how. I know how. Just too bad I can't move faster. You have to get to the generator and tamper with it. Then we go back, tell him the generator is not, is not working. And then we have the barn for ourselves. I know. There you go. <clears throat> that thing is on too tight for my bear. Really? 
I wonder you could just... There, that should do it. Alright. Fucking Danny, where'd he find this piece of shit? <laughs> oh, fucking thing through a bill. Damn it, dog. Oh, son of a... Fuck! Interestingly... He, he said he threw a belt, but the belt is gone. If you open a closed room where a belt should have been inside, it should have been still inside. So actually, he's not that bright. Alright, here we go. Come on, we have to be quick before he's back. Food's ready. Mom, Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Oh, no, 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 Kenny, no, no, no. Come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Do that. that Do that. Yep. Come on. Let's get going. And I don't know why my neighbor's dogs are barking once more. It's just annoying. Let's do this. Uh, yeah. Okay, and when we have, when we've done this, I have to be really quick when I get into the house. To, really, to be really quick to deciding what I'm gonna say. If you guys don't know what you're looking at, boy, didn't you hear the bell? They are eating people. Dinner time. What the hell you got in that back room? Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still got to do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house, but so you see, nothing to worry about. If you guys see one guy is missing, the one who got the arrow to the shoulder. <laughs> Brenda, you are an angel. Uh, Chummy Slinky, oh, thank me. you for your follow. You I appreciate it very much. Got upstairs. Don't worry, that was a while ago, and ain't been back inside since. Everybody, sit down. Now go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mom? Yep. Now don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. We are going upstairs. Um, this cable. Quiet. Okay, this cable is... Power cord. I'm not sure what's that for yet. I forgot that, but what the hell? ah, right. Now he knows there's something behind. Um, towel, medical supplies, box of candles, morphine. What do they need so much morphine for? Trash can. Ugh, what is this stuff? Looks like a bunch of medical waste in here. 
Me too. Save me. What would dairy farmers need with this kind of stuff? I know what they are using this for. Huh. Where is that cord going? Yeah, it's going in there. Um, back out. We have to do something else. Got what? Ah, yeah, there it is. There it is. Move it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is that blood? That is blood. This is Mark's blood, actually. They didn't hear that down there? Really? Here we go. Fast, 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 fast. Fast, 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 fast. Come on. Rush it, rush it. Fast, 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 fast. Clem, clem, clem. Where is she? There she is. Uh, don't eat that. Don't eat that! Huh? <laughs> Lee, Jesus, man. Did you find something? Yes, I did. Oh, sit your ass down, Lee. This lady has made you a meal. Yeah, Lee. What's gotten into you? He just had to stop. They could use some goddamn manners. You're eating human meat. That's crazy. What the hell? Okay. I'm scaring the kids, Lee. Mm -hmm. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't you listen? Don't indulge him, Lily. It's always something. Oh, shut up, you fool. Mom, I was eating that. What is going on? They're picking us off to trade us meat. You're out of your skull. Mark is upstairs right now with no legs. Britta. Tell me he's not being eaten right now. This is just disgusting. It's true. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. He just got an arrow on the shoulder. He wouldn't die. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boss. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. You're all sick. Sick in the head. Lee, that's not a very nice thing to imply. It's not nice to eat people who are still alive. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways. One way or another. Like y'all. Clementine, run! Nobody's going anywhere. Shit. We got lots of use for y'all right here. What the fuck? The fucking what? Put fuck? your guns down. We're walking you out of here. Near my Mommy, fucking family. I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? Somebody do something. <gasps> Lee? Lee? No, that's not what I meant. I'll kill you. Ah, uh, Marcus already turned. Mm-hmm. Please. Oh no, he's not. Someone. <gasps> shit! 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 Come Fuck! Ah. Uh. Okay, maybe there's no other way. The other times when I played this game, it happened the same. You can't keep us in here! <coughs> Open up! I will tear you fuckers you apart with my bang. bare hands! We gotta find another way out of here! <coughs> Yo, shit! <coughs> fucking bastards! <coughs> Open this door, goddammit! I will knock the Please, goddamn Dad, door stop. down! It, it was a person. They tried to make us eat a person. Yeah. But you didn't do it. 
No. The rest of us did, goddammit! If you hadn't dragged your feet! Come on, Dad. Now's not the time. What the hell? You okay, Clementine? They, they didn't hurt you, did they? Mm -mm. Oh, bad off! Lee, those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker! We gotta get the fuck out of here! You don't say. This goddamn thumb sucker was the one who brought us here! Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. All right. You're, you're worse than the walker, Dad. Please. Hmm. Please settle down. Oh, we need to. I'll break that damn door down. Dad, you can't get. Uh, yeah, please. Let's get him. Let's finally uh, die uh, here. Uh, oh God. Yes, get your heart attack and just die. You're so annoying. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead. Somebody help me. Fuck. If he's dead, then he will he's turn. not dead. You know what has to happen, Lee. Think about it. You saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're going to be stuck in a locked room with a six foot four, 300 pound, seriously pissed off dead guy. Fuck you. We can bring him back! Lee! We'll mourn him later, but right now we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He is not dead! Actually, I think he is. Lily can still save him. I wish she I'm trying to be nice. Me. I do. Like always. But that man is dead. You both know what happens next. Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten, I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Yep. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on, we know this guy's not going to make it. Remember what Ben said. Gotta destroy the brain. Come on, Lee. You can't be in the middle on this one. You gotta have my back this time. God damn it, Lee. I need you. Please help me. I will try and help him. Come on, Dad. Come on. Wait. Lee! Is he breathing at all? No, no, I don't think so. Okay, let me take over. Keep checking his pulse. Just because I don't like Kenny, he's just too annoying, and he's gonna kill him anyways. Are you stupid? So he's gonna what? turn. You're putting all of us at risk, you Three, son of a bitch. Four, You're fucking worthless, Lee. Five. No! And that's it. <laughs> Kenny, what the fuck? It had to be done. You don't know that! Yes, I do, Lee. And so do you. I was counting on you, man. I'm sorry. I know. Don't you fucking touch me! <laughs> poor, Clement poor Clementine. Are you okay? Is it over? For now, yes. Yes, for now. <laughs> We still need to find a way out of here. Shh. I know. I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else. Something hopeful. Like what? Um, rainbows? Walkie-talkie. How about your walkie-talkie? Those pretend talks with your mom and dad. Don't those make you feel better? Sometimes. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. Still, I I ha I do know how to get out, but I don't know how. <laughs> if that makes any sense. There ought to be an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit yeah, through. Yeah, Clem. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. The multi-tool. He still has it. Of course they do. Oh, shit. Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Mm. Uh, a rock won't help. But a coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Uh-uh. Hmm. Ah. Uh. It's not coming off that No, way. it's not. If we can remove these screws... AC should come down easily. Okay, let's back out and let's find something to open that with. Somehow I think it's something on Lily or 
Larry. Let's talk to Lily. He was still alive, Lee. He was still alive. You have to think about saving your own life now. It's what he would have wanted. I think I may have found a way out of here. But I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, a coin or something. No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor inn, Larry... Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Exactly. Your permission. Do what you have to do. Oh, boy. Uh, any idea which pocket he keeps his change in? Probably front pocket. Right side. This side. Here we go. Ha! Two quarters and a dime. Very nice. Okay, let's do this. Just gotta remove these screws and get this unit off. Georgia. Mm hmm. Hurry the fuck up, Lee. We don't have all day. Could here. you stop pushing me? Clementine can fit through. Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. Can I do this? You uh, think you can do this? I'm scared. It's okay to be scared. We need you, Clementine. <sighs> okay. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get open out? Open the door. See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. Okay, she's out. I think she saw a dead body. Probably Mark. Are you okay? Did anyone see you? No, but there's a man outside. There's a man outside. Where the hell are you going? What do you care? <laughs> Kenny! Such a fool. Lily, I'm sorry. We gotta go. I know. I just need a minute to say goodbye. We're good. Okay? Yeah, this is good. Shit, he's gonna get us all killed. Stay here. Take care of Lily, okay? I will. We're not out yet. Oh, we're in the... Are we in the back room of the bar? And oh, okay. So the bear trap was theirs. I told you there was something up with this room. It's a goddamn human slaughterhouse. Mm -hmm. Okay, we need we need something. Something. Sickle, take this. Oh, we have a weapon. Blood. Hay hook. No, I will take the sickle. Jars. The bent. Mini kettle prop? What the hell is this? Oh, taser! That's even better. The taser is better. Because I actually I don't want to kill. Not unless I have to. What the hell do you think you're doing? Getting my family back. What are you gonna do? Walk up and grab his gun? Good a plan as any. 
Get outside. There he is. This is... Danny? I presume? Cracks, cracks. When I let one Here. think they can just walk right out. <laughs> they never even look down. When I see him walking past, I will come out. Lee, focus. I don't know. Where is he? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Look again. He didn't go past us. I'll keep an eye on him. Be ready to act when I say. See what he's doing now. He's in front. I knew it. Oh. Really? I tried to. Okay, he she has a sickle now. Why didn't you help? No! That was his wife, wasn't it? Clem? Where's she? I'm not eating you. It's how the world works nope. now. Get part of yourself so others can live. I should fucking kill you right now. Mark never volunteered to be food. You gotta keep me alive. If you kill me, the meat gets tainted. You can't eat it. You're already tainted. You ain't gonna kill me. Just like he didn't kill Jolene. No! Sorry, Clem. Had to be done. There's two more. God, no! Katja! Just go. I'll keep them until I'm safe. I still need a weapon. The taser didn't work. At least not the way I thought it would. Kitty. Come on, move. Move. Walkers? Yeah. Carly. Carly. Me? Ow. Shh. Is everyone okay? You guys have been gone way too right, long. Right, I totally forgot about her. They attacked us. I knew it. I told you we couldn't trust them. Shit! How many of them are there? Two left. Where? Larry's dead. They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed them to us. Shit! Is everyone else okay? They've still got Doc and Katja in the house. And I don't know where the fuck Kenny is. All right. We're coming in to help. The main gate is too dangerous. Go around the fence and see if there's a back way in. 
I'll keep looking for Kitty. Do you have a weapon? I don't leave home without it. Give me that. Ben, stick close. And Lee, be careful. The fuck? I need a weapon. Oh, look, the moon. <laughs> Oof. Oof. I just got some coins. Maybe I can throw them in their face or so. Wait, she was asking for both of us, so... I didn't do anything! I didn't! Why the hell am I dead? Okay, let's try again. <laughs> you just had to go snooping around, didn't ya? Let her go, Brenda! I know I have to get inside. I know it. Please! Please don't you take it Okay, it's not... Brenda, come on now, you know you don't want to As long as this. she's you're aiming at me, I should move. Me. I think I, at the last second I tried to move. Stop right there, I mean it. It's just the second time during my whole Telltale tribute that I died. Um, oh, I have to talk to her. Bitch! Think about what you do. It doesn't have to end like this. I'll kill her, Lee. Ah, Mark. Come off the stairs, you see it? Up there. Stay back! Don't do anything stupid! Let her go, Brenda! Please, listen to it. I'll do it! Please. One more step. Or two. Step. There we go. Finally. They took Doc. Where's Teddy? I said, don't move, asshole. Don't you fucking hurt him. Oh my god. Let him go, goddammit. Fuck. That ain't gonna happen. And don't shut up. Who the fuck do you think you are? You brought this on yourself. No, uh-uh. You did this. All we wanted was a little gas to keep ourselves safe. Oh no. Get up. Get the fuck up. Don't you dare do this to me. What else can I do? Ah. Thank you. 
Oh yeah. Left. And right. And left. And right. And right. And left. I would have drowned him in the puddle. Done? I can't do anything. Come on, finish him. Is that all you got, Lee? <laughs> you ain't shit. It's over. Fuck you. As soon as Dana Mama get out here. No, well, they're both dead and both turned. They're both dead. What did you do? What the fuck did you do? Don't you dare walk away from me, Lee! Get back here and finish this, Lee! Actually, we could just keep him alive, and uh, yeah, that's it. Get back here and fight me like a man, Lee. Lee. There's his mother on the right. I'd say I'm sorry for leaving the motel unattended, but, you know. <laughs> it's fine. I'm glad you showed up when you yep. did. If you hadn't taken that shot at Andy, we might not have gotten out of there. Were they really killing people? For food? Yep. Yeah, they were. That is sick. God, just... Ugh. Clementine, she doesn't know, right? She's not stupid, Carly. Katya managed to grab this while she was in the house. She said it was with your stuff. Oh, the camera. Yeah. I found it while I was looking for the people who shot Mark. Do you want it? Why don't you keep it? Sometimes it helps to have something you can document your thoughts on. Well, I still need some batteries, but... Okay. <sighs> How are you doing? I'll be fine. I'm just not as young as I used to be. He got shot... In the guts. Hun, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. You st oh, okay, it's just a... Uh, it's not that bad. There's gonna be fallout. For killing Lily's dad? Yeah, I would imagine so. What do you think? Oh, okay. You're no hero. You destroyed two lives in that meat locker. Kenny, you're not a bad man, but fuck. What the hell are we gonna do now? Yeah, he's not... He's he's not, he's at least not trying to be a bad man. He's just stupid. Um... The hell? Okay. Come on, Clementine. Stay close. Lee, did you have to kill those men? I'm sorry you had to see that, but I only did it to protect us. Because they tried to hurt mm -hmm. us? Yes. Okay. Hey, Dad. What's that noise? It's 
Sounds like a car. Oh god, not more strangers. Let's go, maybe? Oh, this car. Okay. And no matter what I'm doing... Don't shoot! We're here to help! No matter what I'm doing, Kenny is doing something stupid. There's nobody here. Ah. Mm -hmm. Empty. Oh crap. Baby, you gotta see this. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. I'm not stealing. This food could save all of us. Not all of us. <sighs> Look, we don't know if these people are dead. If they come back, then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their yeah. lives. She's correct. This stuff isn't ours. Yeah. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. What if it's not? Well, what if it's not abandoned? What if it is someone's? You're right. We shouldn't take this. What? Did you get some meal back there the rest of us missed out on? We have to take this stuff. Clementine and I don't want any part of this. We're starving. Suit yourself. The rest of us are taking this stuff. Really? Everybody else? Even Ben and Lily? Okay. What have we got in here? Look, there's more food in that box. They have antibiotics. What else do they have? See if there's any water. Here. Got it? Yeah. I got it. Lee, there's a hoodie in here. Could probably fit Clementine. She doesn't want to. So no. She's good. Thanks. Whatever, man. It's gonna get cold out eventually. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. I thought they might work in your camcorder. Here, you can have some too. For your walkie-talkie. Batteries, huh? Think you can handle those? You're not gonna let me live that down, are you? Batteries are not food. Oh God, Lee, you're gonna want to see Come this. Come take a look at this cliche. Oh shit! Well, we are fucked. Yeah, it's the woman. She thought. Jake, Bart, Linda, and all y'all fucking sickos from the save lot. They call y'all bandits, but you're fucking racist. Oh. Oh, darling, baby, look at you. Look at you. Oh, you need a mama, sweetheart. We won't let them bandits get you, will we? No. This must have been a pretty great microphone on that You're camera. Safe. Sitting there acting like things are the way they used to be. The dead don't kill their own. It's the living you gotta be afraid of. The people I used to call friends. People. <laughs> don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. Okay. I promise. Then we have a problem. Because they won't get any food anymore, so they will come after us. Hey, hey, hey. Next time on The Walking Dead.
This place is done. It's time to move on. Screw it. Not like you ever listen to a damned word I say. Is this all you got? I told you this town is tapped. Do you have any idea what we had to do to get all that? We need to leave. Duck was asking about the farm last night. Not much phase is going on. It's starting to add up. I need to get to the coast. Get him out of all this madness. <laughs> Lily's not doing so good, huh? You murdered her dad. I did what I had to, and you know it. Maybe people out there got things lined up better. Better than us, at least. Could be folks who have all this shit figured out. Do people get mad when they're scared? Sometimes, yeah, they do. This is crazy! I'm the one keeping this group going! We can sort this all out, all right? We can sort this out. I'll tell you what we need to sort out. We can't let one person fuck this up for everyone else! Next time on The Walking Dead, episode 3, Long Road Ahead. So, this was the end of episode 2. Let's see how we did. Um, Savior chopped David's leg off. You and 43% of players chopped his leg off. Interrogation. Shot Jolene. You and 60% of players had Danny shoot her. Pragmatism. Helped kill Larry. You and 50% of players didn't help. Revenge. Killed both of the St. John brothers. You and 61% of players didn't kill both brothers. And survival. Stole food from the car. You and 48% of players didn't steal. All right. Yeah, this was The Walking Dead Staffed for Help, episode two of the first season. Um, like yesterday, I can't skip that. So um, I will just talk a little bit. Um, yeah, I totally remembered this episode, but I was hoping to maybe get into another way to survive and maybe not kill those guys and not eat those people. Maybe I should have stayed at the uh, at the motel in the beginning and not went with them to the dairy farm. This could have been an option, probably. Yeah. Meteorcreed, hi. Tell me we are not done yet. We are done for this season. And uh, not for this season, for this episode. So... Um, this was episode two, Media Creed. You're a little bit late. <laughs> but um, I will be back in just about 50, 45 to 50 minutes um, after this credits. I will just take a little break and then I will continue with the third episode. So and just to catch you up, Media Creed, we were at the dairy farm and uh, killed the brother, uh, the one of the brothers, the mother, uh, because they were um, chopping off people and killing them and eating them. <laughs> so, yeah, and we got out. Larry is dead and Mark is dead. I think that's everything you need to know so far. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode as well as the whole Telltale tribute. Like I said, I will be back in about 50 minutes, maybe 45, after my little break. And then, then we continue with the third episode. Hope to see you guys then. And bye-bye. Um,